and welcome back. Thought I'd put together another video for you. Um, we spoke about the introduction to Unit 3 and in particular this chemical compound right here, ATP, and how important ATP was that it's the only thing found in the human body that has the ability to make a muscle move, perform that action. When the brain sends the electrical message down to the muscle like we learnt in Unit 1 and 2, Year 11 PE, I want you to contract and that muscle makes its contraction which ultimately pulls a joint closer together or pulls a joint further apart depending on agonist antagonist. The one thing that makes that muscle move is ATP, adenosine triphosphate. And it's quite confusing because as I said it's a chemical compound and this is the first time we might have been introduced to this. When we draw it and we visually represent ATP, it might make a little more sense. Inside the human body, inside the muscles, we have the chemical adenosine, which we're going to represent that with an A with a circle around it. And as I said before, it's a chemical compound, so it's joined together. And it's joined with tri three phosphates. So we need to join that adenosine with one two, three, phosphates. And it's important to note a specific word here, and that is that the join is known as a bond. And these chemicals are bonded together. And what's really important is not necessarily the chemicals themselves, the adenosine or any of the phosphates, it's actually the bond that holds those chemicals together that actually holds energy. And so when the brain sends the message down to the muscle and that muscle receives the message and the muscle's message says, I need to contract, I need to move, what ends up happening is this. The bond that is holding those two phosphates together is released. And when the bond is released, the energy that was holding those two things together is also released and that is the energy that moves a muscle. So we have adenosine triphosphate and the triphosphate as we said in our previous video becomes adenosine diphosphate with that final phosphate having its bond broken and energy released to move a muscle. This is how ATP becomes ADP. And when that happens, the muscle is moved. And as I said earlier, we need to find an energy system or a way for the human body to be able to reverse this chemical reaction so that this ADP and that extra P, which we'll talk about it becoming inorganic later on, can go back to ATP and move the muscle again. This is happening hundreds of thousands of times in every muscle when we need to move our muscles so that our joints can become further closer together or further apart with that angle. We need to look at what those three energy systems actually do to repair ADP and P back into ATP.